like everything that America is about. I think it's one of the real special environments anywhere in the country. I have a, a lot of love for this place and the tradition that, that it's involved here. So this is a classic football stadium. It's hosted some of the biggest and best bowl as well as college games in our state's history. The Cotton Bowl is really a story of transformation. Um, the Cotton Bowl uh, first began really as the Fair Park Stadium. Uh, it was built in the 19-teens or 1920s. Originally it was a bowl, true bowl, in that it was semi-recessed in the ground. I have come here today to bear the tribute of the nation to you on your 100th birthday. Then in 1936, it was transformed again for the Texas Centennial Exposition. And uh, for the Texas Centennial Exposition, an Art Deco facade was put on the Cotton Bowl. Restrooms were added. In the mid-30s, there was more cotton produced within 200 miles of Dallas, Texas than any other city in America. So that's how the stadium was actually changed the name from Fair Park Stadium to Cotton Bowl Stadium. The first Texas-Oklahoma game took place in the newly built Cotton Bowl in 1930. And it wasn't until uh, the late 30s that the uh, Cotton Bowl Classic as we know it today uh, was started. The annual Cotton Bowl game on January 1st. And the upper decks were added in 1948 and 1949, uh, which was the year that Doak Walker uh, played. That was at the time that was built. It was the Doak Walker era at SMU, and so the stadium has always been referred to as the house that Doak built because he filled it all the time. The Cotton Bowl uh, was expanded from about 30,000 seats to about 72,000 seats. They took what used to be wood seating and wood plank uh, flooring, um, decking, replaced all of that with concrete in the lower bowl. The Cotton Bowl in 1960 was the home stadium to two professional football teams, the Dallas Texans of the American Football League, AFL, and of course the Dallas Cowboys, Roger Staubach, Don Meredith, uh, sing, uh, Bob Hayes, people like that. A lot of famous college football players ended their careers playing in the Cotton Bowl, a lot of Heisman Trophy winners. Later in 1994, the World's Cup soccer game was played here at the Cotton Bowl. And for that game, a new facade was put onto the east end of the Cotton Bowl. The latest renovation is to, is to restore it back to a lot of its uh, grandeur. Taking the seating capacity upwards of 90,000 makes it one of the few stadiums in America that can accommodate that many people. By offering the visitor comforts, giving them the, uh, you know, the restrooms and the concessions, and the ability to uh, enjoy the facility more. And I think we're going to have one of the finest fall college football facilities in America today. Without exception, uh, the Texas OU football experience you know, at the State Fair in October is unmatched. It's the, it is truly the greatest spectacle in, in college football. There's so much tradition behind the, the game being played. There's nothing like that rush of adrenaline, the feeling they get from the spirit that emanates from the stadium. It's just, it's just the game itself, the electricity around it. So it's just a sea of orange and red. It's always a good, a good spirited rivalry and it, it begins outside the, the Cotton Bowl on the grounds during the fair day and then people, it intensifies during the day. This is not just about a football game. This is a football game that takes place during the state fair. The state fair is such a huge part of family traditions. And having this 300 acre park that surrounds this football stadium, so all the midway, the activities, the food, uh, the entertainment, uh, the roller coasters, uh, you know, the museums, uh, all the things that are going on. So on a Texas OU football game, you'll have 200 to 250,000 people out here at the State Fair. The fair is the reason the Cotton Bowl is so successful. It's one of the reasons. And people love the ambiance of the fair. That's why the Oklahomans like to come here. You know, people from Austin come here. Uh, the Grambling Prairie View folks. This is a great venue for not just football, but just for entertainment and for family uh, gatherings and whatnot. Well, for Grambling State University, it is a very prestigious trip for our university and our fans. 
Look forward to the State Fair Classic game in the Cotton Bowl every year as, as one of the highlight uh, events of the year, just based on the nostalgia and the history of the, of the venue. It's just an honor for our university to be able to have an opportunity to step on those sacred hollow grounds and participate in the game of football. That everyone has personal stories about the Cotton Bowl. As a college student, I remember the exciting days of, of coming to Dallas for the, uh, for the Oklahoma-Texas game, as we called it. As a Cub Scout, you know, we all marched in the Cotton Bowl. Parents, my dad is, uh, was involved with the Cotton Bowl and the Cotton Bowl Classic for as long as I can remember. So I guess I was probably maybe seven or eight years old before I figured out I wasn't born on the 50-yard line. It's about all these memories that people have.